we're ready now to look at the parallel circuit. Notice here with my battery, I've changed things around a little bit. The red side is now positive, which fits more with the convention that the red side is positive, which we do with the voltmeter or multimeter. This is on the red side. The black side is the common. That would be negative. And now the green side is the bottom end, the negative end of the battery. And you can see on the battery itself, there's positive. Way down here is negative. These guys are in series, so the total voltage should be the voltages added together. So I'm going to take resistor 1. I'm going to pop it in. And these are measured as numbers this direction. And depending on how this is set up, can you see the numbers on there? So a lot of times when you have it set this way, this would be row 14 or row 15, and these would be the columns. When I turn it this way, I'm still going to refer to it as rows, even though traditionally that would be columns. Again, that doesn't really matter too much. What really matters is that my connections are correct. So I'm going to take the 100 ohm resistor, And I'm going to put that in, say, row 14. And again, down here in row 14. And I'm going to split that all the way down to the end. OK, now, row 14 on this side is not connected to row 14 on this side. There's no connection through the middle, but everything that's in row 14 is connected together on this side. Everything on this side is also connected together, but not across the central gap here. In the parallel circuit, the top ends are all connected together. So I'm going to put resistor 2, which is 220 amps, or excuse me, 220 ohms. And I apologize if I say the wrong unit here. I would always make sure that I double check anything that I write down. But my brain sometimes throws the wrong unit in there. I usually have the right number. So there is resistor 2. It's in the middle. So notice now that current coming in from this side can split, go both ways, and then come back together down here, meeting the definition of parallel. Resistor 3 is 470 ohms, so that's going to have yellow and purple in there. And I'm going to connect that down here and down there. So it is also connected in. Now, the lab kit does have these jumpers. You could make it look a little more parallel, but this way is good enough for what we're working with. <clears throat> so that's the setup for the parallel circuit. Last thing I would do is connect the battery. On either end. I'm going to connect it there and up here. It doesn't matter which wire I grab a hold of because those wires are essentially all connected together. Okay, so that's all set up and ready to go.